Oh, hey. Oh, hi. So today I am gonna be a bearded queen. You'll see what the outfit's gonna be after. Yeah, but... it's gonna look amazing. <laughs> really? Are you ready, baby? I'm so ready. The first thing we're going to do is going to cover up his eyebrows. So we're gonna want to remove this fucking dog just pops out of nowhere. Wow, Warden. <laughs> Excuse me, you're not being put into drag today. You're gonna have to calm down. So the first thing we're going to do is cover up his eyebrows. And the first thing we want to do is remove any oil from his eyebrows because Ooh. we want it to stick. They have very thin eyebrows. Yeah, girl, they're almost non-existent. Do you like pluck them? Is that what it is? No, it's just like naturally I just wasn't blessed. I mean like with the hair that grows out of my head, you would figure right. a couple inches I want down. to have your hair. I want it to be that thick, girl. Like, that is gorgeous. You're like, yeah, I know. I, I, know. <laughs> I used to hate my hair. Why? I used Beautiful. to absolutely hate it. I would straighten it all the time. You would straighten all the time? Yeah. I love it. And also, I like, it. I used to not know how to, like, do my hair. Curly. What do you mean? Like, I would brush it. You're not supposed to brush. You know what the thing is? The media always portrays what the standard beauty is like, mm -hmm. and that is silky straight hair. So they don't have any commercials right. or products for people that are different, which essentially means curly hair. Yeah. So we're gonna use glue stick. Yes. Glue sticks are like one of those things that I love the smell of, even though it's not like really, it's like gasoline. Yes. Ooh, weird. Did you used to eat paste when you were little? Did I what? Nothing. What'd you say? <laughs> So do you used to eat paste when you were no. little? Oh, me neither. So we're covering just his eyebrows, because right now we're just gonna put the glue stick over it so that essentially when we put the powder over it, um, on top of it, it's going to kind of erase the eyebrows and we're gonna draw new eyebrows. Hi, doggy. Warden, you're gonna have to go chill and you He thinks room. my drag is trash, that's why he's near it. How long have you been doing drag? Like 10 years? Yes. Yes. Uh, here I am. I mean, I like we met when we were babies. Hold on, I found these um, pictures of us from. Beautiful! Oh my yes. goodness! Oh my goodness! A G Lounge. Yes, Did G you... Lounge. Aww. Oh, Claudio. Did you know that they renamed um, the venue now? It's now called Rebar. Really? Mm -hmm. It's basically a stripper place now too. Oh shit! Oh my god, your eyebrows are looking beautiful. Like the, yes. You know, like, you can't see it from here right now, but like. I guess you can zoom in in later, mm. but like it's really flat right now. Okay. I definitely wish that I what? had um, those bushy brows. I love a bushy brow. Eyebrows all covered up, baby. N next, primer. Because you want to make sure the face is protected from all the makeup that we're going to apply to his face. So this is some free shit he got, he said. Yeah, we'll Revolution see how it makeup. is. Ooh, London. I don't even know if she matches me, you know? It does. Does it? Kind of. What are your like um, holy grail makeup products? What does that mean, holy grail? Like your the vocabulary is not that big, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like your the products that you never stray from. You're like I have to have this in brand. You mean or or like specific like like I love. I don't have it right now, but Fenty foundation because I'm an oily bit. Oh my god! Speaking of Fenty, I've never seen mm. a commercial for Fenty before until mm. a few days ago on Instagram. I went to the Fenty uh, Instagram mm -hmm. and saw. Brilliant. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen no, any commercial for it. Oh my god. Brilliant, Rihanna. Fucking brilliant. If it works, it works. Like, sometimes I go in between brands too. If it works, it works. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm not all about like, oh, I, I gotta have Mac. I have to pay like $40 for this Mac. No, mm -hmm. I don't have to. If it works, it works. I'm ready to just be like a bald, featureless canvas. You are a baby, don't you worry. Now, we're going to highlight your forehead. We're going to use white, baby. Do you know what white looks like? Um, it looks like oppression. Yes. Females have circular foreheads, and that's what we're trying to create right now. But actually, I forgot one step, actually, because I'm doing the makeup on you that I forget. We're gonna add some white to your eyelid. But I heard there's a fire going on. Yeah, it's huge. Last year, I was here around the same time. There was another mm -hmm. fire that was huge going yeah. on, too. Last December, and it was like... Yes, last December, the first week of December, right? Like, ash was raining from the sky. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I remember being at Mickey's, and it was just smelling like... Burn pizza. Speaking of burn pizza, I'm hungry. Ooh, she's coming. Let's Did see. you eat today? I ate nothing today. Me too! Oh so my I'm god, ready. we are prepared, girl. I'm ready to be filled. I which might not be the first time you've 
heard that. I, I messaged him yesterday. I was like, don't fucking eat. We're going to create a new socket for him so that when he opens his eyes, it's going to seem like they're bigger. So that's why we're creating the, the whites over here right now. Aww. Did you like the feeling of that? I'm so excited. Honestly, getting your makeup done feels relaxing. Oh, yes. You I know? wish I could do that too. When's the last time someone did your makeup? <laughs> It was recent. It was a fucking nightmare. Girl. Oh no! So we were shooting. We we're shooting a huge campaign, and I was one of their drag queens for um, the campaign. So they had a makeup artist for me. Mm -hmm. I'm always reluctant about other people doing my makeup because, you know, if you're a regular guy or regular girl, you can get away with it. But, yeah. but we're creating a new face. You know the way you want it to look. Yeah. So she did my makeup. Oh my god! I, I was sitting there. Like, cry. I did not cry. I was sitting there like this. I was like, okay, this needs to go higher. This needs to go higher. This needs to go darker. This it was just a mess. I basically said to her in a nice way, I said, I said to her, it might be easier for you, I mm -hmm. made it about her, it might be easier for you if I finish it because you have other people waiting. Yeah. Do you want me to do that? Because it's going to take a little bit longer time. I don't want you to back up or anything. She's like, sure, just start your foundation and, and finish the rest of your face. Mm -hmm. And I'll, But can I please do your, do your eyeshadow? I was like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> so, so I was like, sure, sure. I left. I knew I should have said no. I left that part for her too. Mm -hmm. Because in the beginning she was doing my foundation. It was, it was basically like no foundation at all. Because mm -hmm. you know, she's used to doing like regular girls and like, which is fine, but like drag's a little bit different. She's not really like breaking your face down. Yeah, she's so, basically, yeah. she's not carving. She's not, mm -hmm. she's not doing surgery on my face basically. Right. She was just basically like, mm -hmm. I don't want that. So she was doing the eye makeup and I was just like, oh my God, this is a nightmare. Like they're uneven, like, cause I guess it was her first time doing like, attempting to do like, experimental makeup on other people which mm -hmm. I'm which is fine but I'm sure she's great at doing like the natural like yeah. makeup like making people look gorgeous and stuff like that so it was her first time she was right next to me she was doing other people's faces I basically used foundation <laughs> covered up the whole thing again <laughs> I mean, at the end of the time I was finished with the face it did not even look anything or resemble anything she oh, did shit. like that was the last time I don't think I want anybody to do my face again unless like you know you do drag too and mm -hmm. you have like your own vision and you understand like creating what a new face is like. Oh my gosh, you should totally do like a, like a face swap with another drag queen. Oh, That'd I want to. That'd be so fun to watch. I love that. I hate getting ready in drag. Like I would not do it unless like I have, I'm, I have to be somewhere else afterwards, you know? Yeah. Highlighting the eyebrow, baby. Yeah. It's all gonna look messy at first, but in the end I'm gonna blend everything out and it's gonna look smooth, baby. I love a half-baked face. It's like cooking. Like in the beginning it's like all like, you're just, Dumping everything in the bowl, you know what I mean? At the end, it tastes delicious. Mm. So why, why else do you like your makeup getting done? I like becoming someone else. Why do you do? hate yourself? <laughs> like, I, I like you playing different yourself? characters. I don't know. It's just fun. It's like, oh, I don't have to be myself, like, right now. I can look like someone else. Right. I say that to people, too, when, they, when I ask them, like, on the microphone, be like, what kind of guys they're into? And they're, they're a minority, right? Mm -hmm. They just say, like, they're a minority. They're like, I like tall guys, blonde, white. I was like, what's going on over here? <laughs> this is getting uncomfortable. Like, meanwhile, like, a whole room of minority guys are sitting in, in the room, like, Latinos, African Americans, yeah. a few whites, and, like, you have this, like, Latino guy up here. I, I like white guys only. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, how I, I hate the whole, like, culture of, like, no fats, no femmes, no blacks, no Asians. Like, all, like, all of this, like, no anything except jacked buff white guys. Um, you know what? It's funny you brought that up because not until recently, you know how Grinder always has like these ads up and they promote like safe sex or like meet the right guy on Grinder. Da 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 da. It wasn't until a few months ago mm -hmm. that I finally saw an Asian on Grinder. Oh, like an Asian. Oh, like on a, an ad. On an ad, yeah. Wow. Promoting Grinder, okay. but it was like with a black guy too and a white guy too. That's a good but it's sign. Always been a white guy yeah. or a, a Brazilian and sometimes like an yeah. African American guy. But it wasn't until a few months ago that I finally saw an Asian on there. I was mm -hmm. like, oh my god, times are finally changing. Hell yeah, especially with like, um, did you see Crazy Rich Asians? Yes. Oh, it's so good. First, I think the first movie too that ever portrayed Asians in a an attractive way. Mm -hmm. If you're a female, if you're Asian, you're a prostitute, mm -hmm. uh, an escort, you work at a nail salon, that's all the roles you're yeah. gonna get. Or a nerd. Or if you're a guy, a nerd, like a delivery guy, yeah. or, no one... or, 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 or assassinator. 
That's all we oh, fucking true. get. Ninja. Yeah, but like mm -hmm. the first time ever, Crazy Rich Asians was the first time I've ever seen Asians portrayed in a way of a Cinderella story. Yeah. You know what I mean? We and it was like, it broke records. First of all, it was the first movie about Asian Americans, Asian British right. people in 20 years. I think the last one was like Joy Love Club. Yeah, it literally and, was. But that was still that was still kind of like portraying Asians in, in a not a bad way, but like in a stereotypical way. Maybe we'll do, there'll be another movie, but who knows? They're like, uh, they have one. They got their token Asian movie. Let's move on. Let's go back to the way. <laughs> Here's a bone. Here's a bone. Here, yeah. shut the fuck up. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to set it. Yay! We're making progress. This brush sucks. Like, Which one? This one. Oh my god, I'm gonna get powder all over you. It's fine. Will you still- I'm just literally getting to Lana Del Rey. Will you still love me when I'm no longer- You know this one? Yeah. And yeah, beautiful. You have a great face to work with, honestly. Thanks. You already got your fucking crease, girl. Yes. I just realized eating in drag, like, so you don't mess up your makeup. Is... Oh, I eat all the time, girl. <laughs> I get no fuck. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> oh, just like when I have gone out in drag before and then eating. I guess it didn't matter because it was already the end of the night and I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. But like, you know, if you're trying to like make sure your lips are still on, you have yeah. to like, you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's not camera appropriate. <laughs> Sucking <laughs> skin drag. <laughs> oh my god, there's another thing too that I learned while I was in Canada. Mm -hmm. So this is only Canadian men? No, this is something that I learned while <laughs> okay. I was in Canada. Okay. So like some guys, they invite a bunch of guys over. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. is, this, is this appropriate for you two? Um, and then they would like put like a tally on their ass. You know? Oh. In the straight community, mm -hmm. so there's similar parties like that, but each girl wears a different lipstick. <laughs> and then they go around the guys, they try to see how many colors, the guys should just collect how many colors of lipstick rings are around there. I was like, Oh my god, these straight people are fucking... Straight people are wild. Crazy, too. That's like like cutting a tree open to see how old it is. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, That's so, so festive. Right now we're creating a contour on his forehead to make it more round. So you just saw me did that round thing around his face. And now we're going to use a lighter brown so that when you put it against the white and the darker brown, it creates more of a scheme. So it blends together and it looks more natural, honey. See, we like natural. Oh, we love... I'm sure we're going to look very natural today. Oh, yeah. Yes, girl. We're learning today. I know. You think you think this was just a makeup course, honey? This is an educational course too about culture and society. And now we're going to create the eyes. Oh shoot! I think our food might be here. Go answer the door like this. Hello. Okay, I'll be right there. You have to go downstairs. Yeah. Thank you. You don't come up. The gate is closed. I'm gonna have to call Ken and be like, Hey, can you get? The Pause this. The food is coming, and I also put this on because I should have done this in the beginning, <laughs> but I didn't. It's okay. You're like an Asian version of me. I love that. Taking oh, gentrification <laughs> to drag, girl. Yes. Scarlett Johansson. Oh, yes. She was going to play Mulan, right? Or something? She was going to play. She might have fucking well. She was <laughs> she no, she was going to play a transgender role. Scarlett Johansson. Oh, that too. But she played. Oh, Ghost in a Show. What's Ghost, Ghost in a Show? Ghost in a Show. What is that? She played like. <laughs> it was like, it was supposed to be like an Asian character, and they were like, we'll just give it to Scarlett. Oh, Scar thank you, baby. You're welcome. Yes. How's the gym? Uh, still working on it. Um, uh -huh. the I delivery man is hot. I don't know if you... That's his boyfriend. <laughs> Alright, uh... You wanna, you wanna bend with me your tip? That'd be great. Oh, okay. okay. You look amazing. Thanks, bye! Right now, we're going to create the contour for the eye sockets, we're gonna use brown. The same brown that we're gonna use on here, the forehead, the contour. And I don't think we have to contour here, you already have your natural contour. Your face is easy to work with, girl. Ooh, I'm so happy. Like my lid space and stuff, like. No, it's just the fact that your face, there's room, there's, mm. there's, it's the way that it's made inside your mom's vagina. I'll guess. take it. Scarlett Johansson. Like, play a trans, I'm playing an Asian woman. <laughs> Her next role, she'll be playing a trans Asian. <laughs> She's gonna be playing lesbian. <laughs> Do you think people should have the right to play any role they want to play because they're actress or actresses? I feel like representation is more important. To have someone with the experience of the person they're portraying, I feel like is more valuable. I think 
actors and actresses should have the ability to play whatever role they want to play. And let's say a trans woman wants to play a straight girl's role. I think they should right. yeah, have that. Right, yeah, in that way. Mm -hmm. You know, but I think it also goes back to the fact that when you, when you um, allow it to happen, you're sending a message to people that, hey, when Scarlett Johansson wants to play a trans man, that trans people are just putting up a role. We're not actually... Yeah. Trans, if that makes sense, you're sending, like, a, you're sending a wrong message out, and it, and it's only going to create more bullying, and violence, and less acceptance. The fact that you know we're not actually real human beings. We're not. These are not our real stories. We're just acting right now. That mm -hmm. we're just being trans because we're just acting in this world. We're not yeah. to be taken seriously. That's the message. The problem is going to send out to people. And it's also like there are trans actors that are looking for roles. That role could have gone to like a trans actor. Like back in the day when I forgot what movie it was, but they had just like white people dressed up as Asian people instead of getting. I know. Asian people. I know. I'm like, what's the, what is the point of this? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've seen those movies. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm like, hello. I'm just playing dress up right now. I'm actually a white guy. You know mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Exactly. That's, that, 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 that's the message it sends out to people. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. we're not real human. We're we're our culture doesn't exist. Our or let's say going back to the LGBT community, like somebody's trans experience does not e exist that they're just acting like that's what it sends out erasing it yeah how would you describe like when you first started drag compared to how that grew into your drag persona now i think when i first started doing drag not i think it is actually true when i first started doing drag it was because i was bored mm -hmm. i don't know if that makes sense like mm -hmm. i was not bored in the way that like oh there's not a new new york city it was because i couldn't find anything to do that i can relate to mm -hmm. if that makes sense i didn't like playing sports i didn't like hanging with the boys i don't like the people that i go to school with mm -hmm. um it was the only way for me to escape and when i first started doing drag it was because i wanted to be around people that were like me that were lgbt that i can hang out with and feel like I wasn't going to be judged and I can fully express myself around so mm -hmm. I did that I was young at the time I was 16 so I did that so I could get into the, the bars the club not because again not because I want to drag party or do drugs or anything like that it was just to be around people that were similar to me because think about it 10 years ago there, there were not many LGBTQ support groups or youth centers for people mm -hmm. out there um, so that was the only way yeah right even even I don't know, I don't know 50 years ago uh, the Stonewall riot, you know, 50 years ago or 60 years ago, the only way to be gay was in a bar. But in secret. In secret. Mm -hmm. You can't be gay outside. So yeah. that was like my way of like, of like dipping into dragon. That's how I started. Yeah. And I was able to grasp back all those years that I didn't get to have fun and like be rigid because I grew up in a very conservative Chinese environment. Mm -hmm. And I was told that I had to be a doctor, I had to be a lawyer, I have to be a businessman, I have to, all these expectations, so I, I knew that if I was to be myself, I would, people would know and find out that I'm different, with, and different meaning um, part of the LGBTQ community. So when I did drag, I was able to grasp back all those years that I didn't get to have fun. And you grew up uh, in New York. In New York, I grew up in, I moved here when I was seven years old, mm -hmm. and then I lived in Chinatown until I was 18, and then I got out, went to college, moved out, Slept on a couch for someone lived off of, you think this is funny, but this is the truth, girl. Mm. I lived off of somebody's couch for three years, and then eventually I moved back to Chinatown for a few months. And then I moved to Hell's Kitchen, and that's when things started, like, like I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this seriously. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you're looking beautiful. You have no idea. You have no idea. Right now, we're gonna create some new, going back to the drag, we're going to create some new Eyebrows! Do you like eyebrows? Listen, I need eyebrows or I can't leave my house. You know what? I'm thinking of getting my, um, what is it called? Microblading? Mm. Have you heard about it? Mm -hmm. Naturally, with that, before shaving my eyebrows, like, I would have, like, really, like, thin eyebrows too. And I want them thicker and darker. Don't, don't smile, don't move, because eyebrows are very important, okay? Okay. Don't laugh. Yes. Okay, we're gonna darken it. We, I just need to get the. But yeah, the shape, I, the face I want out. microblading. I definitely want to get microblading done. Okay. Just... Don't talk again. You can tell me that afterwards. Yes, bitch. So what about microblading? How much is microblading? Oh, bitch. 
How much is that? So fucking expensive. How much? It's like eight hundred dollars for the first session. You need how many sessions do you need? You have to get it. I think you need a first session, and then like two weeks later, you need a something. Oh, and then you need shit. to do it like every couple of months, but it, then it's like cheaper. And it's supposed to last for a year only. Can you believe that? They start fading though. But I love the way it looks because I feel like it. you can really never tell unless it's a bad microblading artist. Yeah, it's basically like tattooing basically. Mm -hmm. Your face is so easy! I thought we were going to be like, honestly, today, when, when, before I got in, I was like, a few days ago, I was like, girl. We're just gonna put you a wig with bangs so we can just cover half of your face. <laughs> if, if it doesn't look nice, we can, it can at least like, you know, hide it, you know what I mean? Or mm -hmm. kinda, what is that word, camouflage it. Yes. But I was like, saw your face like, girl, this is, we can do it. Halloween came late for you this year, huh? You know, I didn't get to dress up, so it's my time. This is it. What's your like, recent favorite song to perform? I've been trying the same song for the past year because it's, I'm um, sweet nothing, mm -hmm. but I want to change it soon because how do I say it? When you do it, it's it's just a go-to song. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't. Mm -hmm. Have you have you done theater before? No. Okay, so you have your to-go-to monologues. Mm -hmm. So for the same thing with me, that's my to-go-to song for the past year, not past year, but like for the past few months since Drag Race. So um, I want to change it up because well, actually nobody ever seen it anyway because when you go to different cities, they they've never seen it. So that's why I've been. Cause it just stuck to it, but I want to do different things. Do you have like a go-to karaoke song too? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Vanessa Carlton, A Thousand Miles. Yeah. Baby, One More Time. Oops, I did it again. We Belong Together, Mariah Carey. Ooh, yes, that's um, a good one. What else? Ooh, We Belong Together is one of those ones that will get everyone in the room. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Vanessa Carlton, because that song, it's like, it doesn't need much vocal. And it's iconic. <gasps> sure. You have no idea. Like, oh my god. Did you see, you've probably seen this, they, they have like these leggings for dogs, did you, did you see them? Oh my god, yes. And they're just, they're like human, like... Warden, I'm putting you in drag soon, so get ready. Liquid eyeliner! Oh, you will make a fierce queen, girl. The, the delivery man's back. Oh, yes. Mm. Can we have What a, are you delivering this time? 12 inch sausage. <laughs> and then later on, you, you see yourself like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Is this high? Like, I'm, girl, I'm not even gonna post this video. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna delete it. <laughs> I'm gonna delete it right now. And you're just like, oh, I lost the file. It's corrupted. <laughs> I miss like, um, me. I'm just yes. I'm just you I miss, miss you so much. I miss uh, just being around like drag queens getting ready in New York, like Claudio yeah. Maddox. Yeah. Why do you miss it? Cuz I don't know. It's just so it's like hours of just hanging out and having fun becoming You know a beautiful new person and, and you like, haven't had that since when I mean Since I moved here, I guess since like uh, Claudio passed away you moved here after she passed away um During were you guys really really close. Yeah, He's like one of my best friends. Did you guys used to live together or is that why? No, he was like the first person I ever like went to clubs with. How did you meet um, him in the first place? At, I think maybe at Avalon. Do you remember that club? Yes, yeah. girl. So you met him there? Yeah, like in a group of friends. So there was like a, a group of us that would always go every Sunday night. So yes, girl, church, you're right. I don't think I've ever been inside, but I know oh my Avalon. gosh. I so, was too young at the time. Anyone watching who doesn't know, Avalon was like a church that was repurposed into a club and it was amazing. And now it's a mall. Yeah, womp. And that was a gym too, I think. Yeah, I walked past it the other day, or the, like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, I was just ago. in New York the other day. <laughs> I was, I was. Yeah, because you said you were in Jersey last month. Home yeah, month, right? And I walked past and it doesn't even look like it's a mall anymore. Or maybe it's like half a mall and the something else now but it's depressing I'm like oh that was like the best club that ever existed now we're almost done with the eyes we're gonna wipe off any excessive makeup I'm gonna get rid of them all right I don't know what to do with the beard okay because I've never painted a beard a queen before if it looks good it looks good if it looks bad then it looks bad I don't even know what to do right now I'm lost <laughs> <laughs> do you have like a favorite part of getting ready and a least favorite part I would hate putting on like false lashes least favorite part I don't know I don't like getting ready hmm I think every queen can say that. I guess in the beginning, every queen likes, oh, I love playing with makeup. I don't know, I don't like. It feels like work. Because you're just literally sitting there like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can actually paint over it because your hair is really thin. Mm -hmm. 
I guess that's what I'll kind of do. Yeah, all up in this region. Yeah, it's like it's disappearing. Like, look, look, mm -hmm. it's like disappearing. Yeah, it's, oh, she's gone. Yeah, it's like only dense, like kind of here. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll just cover some of it. Oh my god, I forgot I bought food for a second. I know, I'm so excited. I barely even ate yesterday too. What did you do like all weekend? Friday I was in DC. I literally went there and like did the gig. I literally went straight from the airport to the venue, mm -hmm. got ready, did the gig, left straight to the airport. Oh shit. To go to Atlanta and then landed, slept, got up. We did an interview over there and we did a photo shoot and then we did the gig, left, went back to the hotel, slept for an hour, got the fucking guy knocking at the door. For an hour and a half, and then came here. When's like your next day you can just chill? Next Monday. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Now that the foundation is on, we're going to highlight his nose to make it seem like it's more pointier and more feminine. I love how my outfit today is like so butch too. Yeah, I told him to like get an outfit. Did you have to buy it or you already had it? I had it. Good. I don't. Yeah. I don't want you to spend mm -hmm. any money. I got it for five dollars at Urban <laughs> Outfitters last year. <laughs> Why were they selling stuff for five dollars? I don't know, girl, but I was grateful for it. Do you have a crooked nose? I think you do. I do. Okay. Well, I'm gonna uncrook it. I want a doctor to just, <laughs> just a little, like I don't no want- No surgery. I don't, I don't want it to be smaller. I just want someone to straighten did, it out. Were you, you did, did you have an accident? I don't know no. if it's two person on ass. Mm -hmm. You were just born like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause some people like, get, like my ex, he was, mm -hmm. he got punched, got into a fight when he was a kid. And now his nose is like shifted. Yeah. I'm ready for someone to so, just. So Maybe if I get punched in the right way. <laughs> I'll punch this way. That's where the way it will be. <laughs> We're gonna highlight the face like we did with the forehead by using white powder, baby. And now here comes the fun part, contour. You just go in, girl. And it doesn't have to be perfect at this time because we're actually gonna go in. You can see it? Mm hmm. Does it look good? Yes. I love cut me. So now we're gonna blend it out, smooth it out. Yeah, baby. My hair's gonna be in the way now. It's your hair. Who do you stand for? Who are, who are your faves? I don't know. I like tire bags. Mm hmm. Is yours? I have so many. My queen is Nelly Furtado. Why? Not why it is in a bad way, but no, like, I know because no, like I nobody like, ever picks her. That's what I'm like. Why? Why her? I she's so unique to me. How? Like her voice, the fact that she can like just switch up genre. Um, right. Yes, that whole album. I want her to work with Timbaland again. That's what I really want. Yes, when she did um, Promiscuous Girl. Yeah. You already know. That's what I need. I like Timbaland. Do you like Timbaland? I think he's very I creative. I love him and uh, Missy, like that whole era. Oh, yes, the shimmer. Yes! Bitch. Do you ever just like not feel like washing your makeup off and just chilling it all day? No, I always want to wash it off. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I put it on, five minutes later, I'm like, I want to take it off already. So I always want to take it off. Like I'm the first one after each show, I'm the first one to get out of drag. People always like, oh my God, you're already out. People are still like, yes, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of drag, I'm, all my shit is packed up, I'm ready to go. You're like I'm at like, the door. I'm at the door already, like, on my I'm like already sitting there on my phone, like, <laughs> scrolling through, reading my emails, like. I um was practically just falling asleep for a second because the motion is... Like massaging your forehead. Yeah. I get really good massages, I think, as I told. Oh my god, I am obsessed. Like, if I could get a massage, like, every week I would. I would too. I just invite guys over and before we do anything, you're massaging me first. Because once once they do it, they finish, they're like, nah, bitch, if you want it, you're gonna have to massage my feet, my Work back, my neck, everything first. And if you don't know how to, some guys don't know how to do it, I'll tell them, I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration first. I'll give a 30 second demonstration. You're gonna do like this, like this, 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 and then, and then they fucking do it. That's amazing. You gotta get what you want, girl. Wow. Because like, I ain't fucking paying $100 for a, a massage. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's probably worth it, but... We were just in the Philippines a couple months ago. I got an hour and a half massage for $11. US dollars. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And was it good? It was so good. I've gotten a massage before in China by a blind person because they apparently... They can't see, but they have the touch for feel. If that mm, makes sense. Did it work? Did it do yes, the job? Yes, girl. Like, he wanted to crack my neck, so I was like, no, don't do that. <laughs> that scares me. When people do, like, chiropractic like, oh, stuff. I was, I was yeah. like, no. He, or, or they lift your head up. Like, bitch, what if yeah. my head, like, hits the ceiling? And, like, that's the end, girl. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to get my neck broken. 
Just my back. I'm not even in the fucking video the entire time, girl. Do you see this? I'm just like... <laughs> Your torso. Just my torso. Just like grinder, girl. Just torso. <laughs> Lashes time, girl. Mascara. What the fucking flicking. You're you're you're, 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 you're adding the black all over your face. Look, look what you fucking did now. Did I fuck? Did I fuck you, up? You fuck it up again, girl. <laughs> it's even bigger now. <laughs> shit. You have stop me. Oh shit. I feel like lashes like finishes everything. Yeah, right? like wake up the face. So maybe like maybe the camera died and eyelashes appeared on my face, but it's fine. Now we're gonna do lips. Oh shit! Non-existent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. So we're just gonna use the eyebrow, eyebrow cream that we used. Basically, draw an X. To give it a, a really nice bow. She's pink today, so not just today, every day, because that's the only color you have. <laughs> nice try, bitch. Oh, this is a nice pink. We didn't even need to do the, the brown. Smudge it. We're done. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. It's time to change. And by change, he means change the battery. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lie. One, two. One, two. One, two, <laughs> two three. Reveal. Bitch, you look like you could be from New Jersey and you have a rich husband or a hoe that works to, or, or dancing at a strip club, even though she's 40 years old, trying to make that money. You look good. I love it. You've probably been one of the most easiest person I've ever painted on. What's your drag name going to be? Oh, shit. I don't know. Do you want to be a house of Hamasaki? Oh my god. Can I be an honorary Hamasaki? No. Um, I don't have any drag children. You know what? <laughs> Just for the sake of this video, for the next five minutes, you're gonna be Hamasaki. <laughs> Perfect. What would, you, what would your drag name be? I don't know. I, I would have to be a really Jersey name. Um, Nicole Hamasaki. Nikki. 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 Nikki Hamasaki. Mm. Nikki Hamasaki. Nikki Hamasaki. Nikki Saki. Nikki Saki. But you know what the good news is? What? Now we get to eat. I know. I know. We've that the food got here a while ago. It's time for our mukbang. Yeah. So you're gonna have to go to Yuwa's channel and watch us eat. Yuwa Hamasaki. Find us on social media. Yes. At Soundly Awake and Yuwa Hamasaki. Wow. Y U H U A H A M S A K I. Thanks. Fucking name. H A M A S A K I. Thanks for putting me into drag. Of course, girl. You look marvelous. I feel it. Wow. Okay. Thanks. See you later. Bye.